Ten strangers are summoned to a remote island by a mysterious host. Over dinner, a record begins to play, and a voice accuses each person of hiding a guilty secret. One by one, they are murdered. Agatha Christie's And Then There Were None. All these characters are brought to this island for a reason. And as we move through the story, we learn more and more about them. What you're gonna see when you come see this play is Agatha Christie's most well-known title. She really gives the actors so much to play with in terms of digging deeper into their character. The actors that have come together for this play bring to life the characters. My character, Philip Lombard, he is someone who's trying to figure everything out. He's a mercenary soldier of fortune, loosely inspired by James Bond. He wants to know what's going on, who all these other people are, why they're all together. And of course, once characters start dying off, he wants to know who's responsible. I'm playing Vera Elizabeth Claythorne. The way Agatha Christie wrote the novel, she um, lets you think that you know what's going on for just the slightest bit of time, and then next thing you know, you get another curveball thrown at you. So you're never really sure what's going to happen. I play Judge Wargrave, who is a veteran of the High Court in London. He is very set in his ways, very analytical, very thorough, but Wargrave, like the other characters, has uh, a dark backstory. I think the exciting thing about this show and what makes it so enjoyable, people to this day still love a great mystery. And throughout the whole show, you are left guessing because one character leads you to believe one thing, another character leads you to believe another, and by the end, you're still completely confused as to who could be doing this. You're gonna see a lot of plotting, a lot of plans, going on, uh, a lot of alliances being formed and broken all at the same time. When you come to see the show, you're going to see the mystery unraveling as the characters unravel. And everything will, will feel as though it's spinning, spinning out of control as we move towards the end of the play. There are a number of people that are going to get knocked off, but I think what's going to keep the audience guessing is whether some people survive at the end. And I think it will be for, fun for the audience to solve it. This show has a lot to offer. There's the murder mystery, obviously. There's dark comedy. There's great acting. And if you like the Poirot mysteries, if you like Downton Abbey, if you like period pieces, if you like BBC dramas, there's a little bit of all of that. It's really a game of Clue come to life on stage at the Warner Theater. Don't miss Agatha Christie's And Then There Were None in the Nancy Marine Studio Theater. For tickets, visit warnertheater.org or call the box office at 860-489-7180.